Leader. Last night, we also heard these Republican candidates attack government regulations as the source of all evil. Take a look. Get government out of the way by reducing the regulatory environment. Pull back all of those regulations. Everybody on this stage understands it's the regulatory world that is killing America. Our biggest problem right now is our regulatory burden. Myra, rev up the rev -a meter Are regulations causing the ills of society? But let's rev it up. Listen, this is a big conservative talking point, right? But there's little evidence that regulations actually kill jobs. And the Labor Department has compiled some statistics on this. And let's take a look at what they say. According to the Labor Department, just two-tenths of one percent of the layoffs since President Obama took office were due to government regulation. Now, they say the much bigger reason is lack of demand. In addition to that, Bloomberg reports that President Obama has actually actually approved 5% fewer new regulations than President Bush did at the same point in his presidency. So while many in the business world would agree that they don't want to be overregulated, the claim that overregulation is the, quote, biggest problem in our economy. Let's take a look at what the Revometer has to say about that. The Revometer says this, this is a full blog out, says there's no truth to it. Wow, they almost broke, uh, <laughs> uh, they almost broke it that time. Uh, <laughs> Professor Perry, uh, Richard, let me start with you, Richard. Uh, if we didn't have all these regulations, 14 million people wouldn't be unemployed. We wouldn't have layoffs. I mean, how do you sell that to the public who has so many people they know are unemployed or unemployed themselves or facing layoffs in their families? Uh, well, look, to quote a great Republican philosopher, oops, you know, this <laughs> argument doesn't actually stack up. It doesn't stack up in public opinion. When you ask people who's to blame for the bad economy, it's really consistent. They blame the Bush administration, they blame Wall Street. And to their point that somehow the banks are overregulated, please take this to the people. Go campaign on the platform that Wall Street is being crushed by the heavy boot of government because it won't fly. It won't fly with Tea Party folks who were out outraged at Wall Street just as much as the Occupy right. Wall Street people were. They do not believe that Wall Street is, is somehow hampered in what, it, in what it was trying to do or what it needs to do. In fact, I bet you if you went out there as Teddy Roosevelt and say, I'm going to break up Wall Street, I'm going to break up Goldman Sachs, you would get majority support. That's, that's a platform that a third party candidate could and should take. Now, uh, let me ask you, uh, Professor Perry, the whole message of uh, regulation is something elements of the Tea Party and Occupy Wall Street uh, movement people can agree. I mean, I don't understand what about this, yep. these people that are on the Republican primary uh, race, what are they not hearing from all sides of the political yep. spectrum here? Well, I, I think this is part of what's most fascinating is, I mean, I think we want to remember that the Tea Party movement very much began as a kind of anti-Wall Street, you know, anti-Wall Street bailout. What about Main Street? I mean, it it is at least as fundamentally populist, at least in its language, as the Occupy movement is. And in fact, the two of them have a, have a great deal of agreement on that. They also both Occupy and um, and the Tea Party made very clear claims about being nonpartisan, about not wanting to be just in one party or the other because they had a sense that both parties were kind of infected with a particular corruption. But, but look, here's the deal. When you look at corporate profits, corporate profits are not down. That is not the problem. And the notion that if these profit margins were even higher, that they would begin to, that, that they would begin to hire, that they would begin to hire workers is just clearly wrong. You have skyrocketing, enormous, amazing profits on the part of these private industries, banking industries included many of which are at their lowest tax rates and some of the lowest regulation that we've seen. Some of that, much of that deregulation occurring not just under George W. Bush, but also under the previous president, yeah. under President Clinton. Those deregulating aspects have been going on for a very long time and in this country. That is not less, the issue. Five percent less under this president. Uh, when you compare it at the same time President Bush was. Melissa, Richard, and Myra have a lot to do tonight, so thank you all so much.